last bath and then uh, anthurium and about like this. Mm -hmm. This one's half developed. Wow. Oh, wow. It'll get twice his size. And instead of spath, it has a pigtail. Huh. Yeah, so, uh, they look like romaine lettuce to me. Huh. They yeah. taste like yeah. mm -hmm. wow. So this waterfall, this was a gift to Robert from his adopted son, John Greg. I wouldn't mind somebody giving me a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> nice little gesture there. Uh, Robert would leave every year for about three weeks in May to take care of business in Chicago. He inherited his wealth from his dad, Samuel Allerton, who uh, did a real interesting livestock deal in 1864 with the Union Army. He was actually dirt farming in Chicago. Samuel Allerton, you ever heard of a dirt farmer becoming real wealthy? No. <laughs> well, he made, he's the exception to the rule. Actually, he, he wrote the first journal on organic compost. Wow. To understand Allerton. Anyway, uh, he's an interesting story, by the way, but too much to talk about, really. Uh, Samuel was born in the Bronx. Allerton Avenue that goes up to the New York Botanical Gardens in the zoo, named after Samuel. He moved to Chicago with dirt farming in 1864. They had a late freeze in spring, all the crops down. So instead of being negative, he went back to the Bronx and borrowed 80 grand from friends of his there. Went back to Chicago and purchased all the pig and cattle for a penny a pound. Oh. Drove it out to Ohio and sold it to the Union Army for a dollar a pound, 80 grand worth. Turned it into a pretty good fortune. Started the first National Bank of Chicago, Chase Manhattan, Bank One, J.P. Morgan. Samuel Allerton also built the Allerton Hotel in downtown Chicago. Acquired 50,000 acres of farmland in five different states over his lifetime. When he died, uh, Robert and his younger sister, Kate, inherited all that. They must have had a business sense, though. Kate and Robert turned the 50,000 into 86,000 acres. If you go anywhere around Illinois to the adjoining state, you'll find Allerton's name on something. Mm. So he had to go home every year to take care of business up through Chicago. He'd leave here in May for three weeks. One year he's off island, and uh, John comes up here with the tenant farmers that helped he and Robert have plant this garden. The tenant farmers and John, they move stone and rock around to create the waterfall activity, and then John and the farmers dig that hole and surround and uh, line it with basalt rock. They lay this lava skirt below the pond, and John casts those concrete scallop shells, stacks them on the skirt to drain water like this. Goes up to that wooden barrel, and then a plume activated. Three weeks of construction. Wow. Yeah, well, probably. 